Hey everyone, it's Coach Mark, and we are reading from my new book, Repeat After Me, all right? We're reading from my new book. We're reading one chapter a day. It's 30 chapters in this book. It'll literally take you about five to 10 minutes to read a chapter, and I can guarantee you this. You read a chapter, apply what you learn to your life, and you will see a dramatic shift in your life. If you want to follow along with us, all you have to do is go to www.repeataftermebook.com, and you can download this book for absolutely free I'm not charging anything okay no excuse you can't use the excuse you don't have any money because I'm not charging anything now if you want to buy a physical copy of the book I do charge for that right just reach out to me on Facebook my name on Facebook is Mark Starr and we'll make uh, preparations for you to get a physical copy of the book all right so that's all I'm asking one chapter a day download the book you're going to go to the website, enter in your information. Once you do that, they'll take you to the thank you screen. Then it'll send you an email from me with a link to download the book. If you having problems downloading the book, just shoot me an email at coachmarkspeaks at gmail.com, and I will send you a PDF version of the book. Anyway, we are at day 27. We only got three more days to go after this, right? Day 27 is giving, not taking, giving, okay? So the quote that we're going to start today with is happiness consists in giving and in serving others. That's why we are here on this earth is to serve and to help others, not just ourselves. OK, and that's Henry Drummond. And for it is in giving that we receive. And that's St. Francis of Assisi. All right. So the affirmation for today. I am a joyful giver. I enjoy giving my time and energy to help others, even in small ways. I give freely and it brings me happiness. I am more satisfied by giving than receiving and I realize it is a privilege to be able to make a difference. All right. The reason why we read affirmations is because it helps us to refocus our minds, reprogram our minds the right way with positivity instead of negativity. All right. The lesson for today, doing something to help another person can be one of the easiest ways to give yourself a happiness boost. If you want to be happy, help somebody else be happy. That's the easiest way for you to become happy. Help somebody else be happy. Your gift of time and energy are often more valued by friends and family than money or material things. It's not about giving people money, right? When people give you, when you give your time, because remember, we always say time is more valuable than money. You can always make more money, but you can never buy more time. All right. Grand gestures are great if you have the resources, but small efforts are easier to carry out on a regular basis. Holding the door for someone, smiling at the person taking your order at a restaurant, or occasionally volunteering at your child's school are just a few examples of small things that can make a difference in someone's day. Someone could be having an absolutely horrible day, and just by you smiling at them, right, just by you saying something kind to them, it could completely change their day, right? That's the way that you can give. So you don't necessarily have to have a whole bunch of money to be able to give. You can give by just being a, a just just a light in somebody's life because you never know when that person needs an encouragement. Maybe they're going through something. You know how many stories I've heard of people that were about to commit suicide or do something really crazy and somebody did something nice for them and it completely changed their um, changed what they were about to do. So just by giving, just by being a blessing to other people, just by just being that ray of sunshine to somebody else, you can change somebody's life. So you have it. Don't use the excuse that you don't have any money or you don't have all the resources. Yes, you do. That smile on your face. That's the resource, baby. Right. Those kind words that you're going to give someone. That's the resources that you need. Question yourself. And why do we ask questions? Because we want answers. Answers equal results. What can you do today to make someone's day brighter? How can you help make your small corner of the world a better place? Always be thinking about that. That should be the first thought or the second thought in the morning. The first thought is giving thanks, right? The second thought is how can I make someone else's day brighter? Because I tell you this, if you focus on making other people's day better, your day will instantly, automatically become better. All right, next is take action. Look for opportunities to make a difference. What did I say? Number two thing for the day, right? After you give thanks for everything that you have, look for ways that you can help make someone's life better, okay? 
Put your name on a list to volunteer at a nursing home or drive someone to a doctor's visit who has no family. You don't know just by you doing these small gestures how you can change someone's life. You want to change people's life? Give. All right? Next we have repeat to yourself. That's where you're going to create today's affirmation in your own words. Then we have Coach Mark's wow or words of wisdom. The secret to abundance. Now listen to this, man. I put some thought into this one here. I remember this one. I put some thought into it. Put, let's listen to it. The secret to abundance is that there is a force that watches when you give to others and says he or she has just given away some of their money. Let's make sure that they never run out. Let's give them double for their trouble. That force also says they still have some left from what we gave them before. They must not need or want any more. That's why when you don't give, that's why you never get any more, right? Easiest way you want to be successful, you want to bring more money into your life, you give. I'm telling you, I don't make, listen, I don't make the rules. I just learn them and play by them, right? We talked about this before, man, sowing and reaping. Sowing and reaping. You want to get more out of life? Look for others that you can bless. Anytime that I'm not doing well or my money's a little short, I'm always looking at, man, how can I give, right? How can I give? How can I help somebody? How can I be a blessing to somebody else? That's how you turn the money on. That's how you turn the abundance on. Trust me. Don't forget, download the book, www.repeataftermebook.com. Until tomorrow.